Hi, wherever you are in the world, welcome to Island of Infort. My name is Lenwick Duane. I'm so excited today. Guess what? I have with me one of the longest serving administrators of football in the Caribbean. Yes, the Caribbean. I'm not talking about Jamaica and a whole. He's, the, he's at the end of the Centon Football Association from 2004. 19 years. Yes. Mr. Centon FA himself, Mr. Danny Beckford. Mr. Beckford, welcome, man. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to your viewers and your listeners. And it's a pleasure to be here with you, sir. Yeah, man. How things, how things, how, how tell me how things, how life in St. Anne? Well, I'm going to tell you, the year after COVID, it has been one of the best years. After and COVID? Half, yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and half the field. So, yeah. as most of you might know, this year we have gone at a couple of... Um, accolades for our teams in the various leagues so it's a good look it's a good look all right we're gonna cover all the teams because good things happening in St. Anne. i must let you know a born and grown St. Anne, sir. Yes. and me usually over on the other field the old field when people have no fence man i run up and down and you and, and you are ref game and then you come president and a beat um not really beat but you have to move man go over go over <laughs> you remember then the other and you was one of my under 15 guys yes, at that time man, too. Yes, man, I'm not there. All right. Tell me your early years because me want to believe you're not come from St. Anne, like you're from, from another parish. Tell me you, you, you grew up in a St. Anne? Well, Mr. Duane, I'm shocked that you're asking me that. <laughs> Born and grew at St. Anne's yeah. Day Hospital, lived yeah. on one main street. My father was one at the time the president of the St. Anne Football Association between 90. Um, 72. Your father was the president? Yeah, 75, yes. Whoa. So, okay. you know, if we start to bring him in the thing, we went to St. Anne Primary School. Mm -hmm. In those days, when you got your common entrance, he was one of the elites. Yeah. Because them time they'd have 43 places and only 6,700 places they had. <laughs> yeah. So we had one of them. We, we um, went to your castle high school. Mm -hmm. Was a board and most people know that your castle was a boarding institution. So yeah, 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 Keith. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. From six to nine to, 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 to seven to four. Okay. You know? And we did four years of boarding at your castle and yeah. then um, we graduated from, from there. We were one of the first batches of the compulsory youth service set mm -hmm. up by the then Prime Minister, the Honourable, and I say Honourable with distinction, Michael Mandy. Michael Mandy. Yeah. Yes, and um, we went to, to um, Chalky Hill, mm -hmm. all at the time as a teacher. Yes. You know, so we taught there for about 18 months and then we left, you know, so. So you have, you have some way of teaching here too? You're yeah, teaching man, you know? I'm a teacher, bro, I'm a teacher. Uh, uh, Mr. Bigfoot, <laughs> I know you for years then, uh, these are the things that we try to do on this channel to bring out that the viewers can actually know who this person is. Yes. Sent on football, boy. St. John football is on top. Right you, now, who do, you top. Say, who do you say you are the leading association in Jamaica we right now? We would say that hands down, hands up, <laughs> any, any, any which way. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. Some of the times you see the, 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 um, the effort on the field, mm -hmm. it has to be done with administration. Yeah. And we have been doing that. And um, even the other day, one of the quotes from one of the Limehall players is that, boy, you never know, say, the, 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 the club support. Mm. Meaning, as a as a as a community club, mm. and you still could could qualify for the Premier League. Mm -hmm. So overnight, they have to move from amateur status to professional. To professional, which it won't be an easy task. But we're never, getting there. Yeah, man, we're gonna touch Lima because, yeah. as I said, um, good things that that mean in Saint Anne. Um, boy, I wish I was um around at no because the days of me coming through i remember the black stars and the volvo and the yes. brazil and so on yes. but yes. no big things are going to center we're gonna touch that though but tell me about the development of jackson let me clear something first and let me let me let me ask you a question i saw in the paper when i was doing my research right there should be a multi-purpose complex here with Swimming pool and all of that and all of that. Warm to jack saw, they develop. I've seen improvement, great improvement. Don't get me wrong. You get light and so on. But what, what is the development of jack saw? Well, listen now. Initially, when 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 um football was at its heights again, and you, you mentioned black stars within those days. So the government at the time, within their wisdom, mm -hmm. 
um, made a grant to St. Yeah. and it went specifically to the St. Anne Parish Council mm -hmm. of two million dollars at the time. I remember Harris Daly at the time was in the Ministry of Sports and he brought down the check and all of that and we had lunch and everything mm -hmm. and um, that money was lodged to the St. Anne Parish Council. So within a couple months all we heard that 1.3 million dollars out of that mm -hmm. was spent to develop a cricket field <laughs> behind that wall I see over so, there. So you are telling me that the money that came down for, for football development. For football, yes. Are the cricket pitches the, the parish council channel it to the cricket pitch. Okay. And then and a, a further quarter million dollars mm -hmm. was secured to have um uh over three hundred fence posts mm -hmm. to fence the western border. Mm. Two months after that we heard that the posts were not there. Somebody borrowed them. We don't know who lo loaned the posts and who borrowed the posts. <laughs> so we we went back to with I going to tell you in a fit of rage to yeah. to the Ministry of Sports and the SDF and all of that. So what they did at the time, they sent their contractors to do everything. Mm -hmm. They did the field, they did the, the, the fencing, they did the stands, and that is how we have this thing right here as it stands, you know. Mm. When fast forward to Mount Pleasant, when they qualified for the Premier League, um, this building that is we sit here now, mm -hmm. it was the courtesy of the then, of the owner, still Mr. Gold. Yeah. So we did we put the building, and it was a record time to put the building up. We to had meet the Premier League. To meet the Premier League status. Yeah. And you know we had the lights and all of that. Mm -hmm. So there and then now is where that, that development. Now to present day. The whole complex is 33 acres. Mm -hmm. So the whole issue of cycling, mm -hmm. velodrome, and um, um, the same thing as the pool and yeah, all of that. Swimming pool. One yeah, pool, we all land and we start to put that aside now. And even mm -hmm. the cricket field and whatever. So you know, but I know, we now go baller with no swimming pool. So uh, we're not sitting on the paper for Can I say to you yeah. that was initially over 20 much years ago? <laughs> yeah. And that, yeah. and that, and that thing. Mm -hmm. So thankfully now, mm -hmm. we're getting investment for. A 400 meter running track. You got a 400 meter running track yeah, as we speak uh, over that side there. Yes. Yeah, and the third so well 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 You're not worried with no cricket pitch over there. We're not worried with no cricket pitch. Subject to, to Paris <laughs> Council just agreeing with what we are saying. You're going to track and field. Track and field, and within the track and field, we're going to have an AstroTurf, which is a synthetic football field. So oh, we have, we have within identity the within the right. Okay. Good. And then we have made proposals to the JFF because if you see the technical center in U UA, mm -hmm. there's supposed to be three more. Yes. So the one in the north would be at Jackson, at Jackson. here. Oh, yes. Good. Yes. So there is what. And then now, fast forward to now, as a mm -hmm. matter of fact, we had a meeting Friday gone mm -hmm. with the parish council and the, 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 the Mount Pleasant person are telling them that they will qualify, they have qualified for the CONCACAF club league. Yes. So they want two get this venue compatible with CONCACAF. Mm -hmm. So instead of the eight light poles, they would have four towers, yeah. more stands, yeah. more bathroom facilities, more boxes that people can rent and all of that. Who, who gonna take up that? Don't Mount Pleasant gonna take Mount on that? Mount Pleasant in conjunction with the St. Anne Football. With in conjunction, oh, they yeah. want to bring it up to CONCACAF yes. level. Right now as it stands, yeah. If Mount Pleasant went play a CONCACAF club league, it would either in Catching Hall, mm -hmm. or in Stadium in Kingston. Oh, so once we, yeah, not... once we bring it up, yes. then uh, what them really, what them are going to have to have CONCACAF at Jack's Hall for the same time. Because it's the same time, yeah, Mount yeah, Pleasant and yeah, all of that. I think so the, the development of Jack's Hall, I hope it's not no, no Mount Talk. No, 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 I'm it. going to tell you something. You know, we know Mount Talk, we go there and do the things, right? Mm -hmm. How oh, long this all take now? Give me a time. All right, no, we 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 for the towers. Yeah. We, we, we're talking no less than six months to put up the towers, so so that um, you know, Mount Pleasant still will be playing Premier League. Yeah. So that would be dear for Premier League and Kankaka. And Kankaka. So, so you can have your night matches. Can have your night matches and so on. So as it stands now with the lights, so we can we can upgrade these lights now mm -hmm. to catch the start of the Premier League maybe in October. Yeah. But the bigger picture with the towers and the, and then if, when, if and when we get the towers, we can move these lights over to the other side. And what about the stand in terms of the covering and so on? Yeah, and if you notice, you see some covering there for yeah. from from Oland. Mm -hmm. um, 
somewhere along the line the communication never come pro but covering for the stands will be a must for some of the stands at least you know mm -hmm. so we, we, we're moving in our right direction and as i say once you succeed on the field more invest and if you notice now the the commercial belt that you see there so far you see kfc there yeah, and, and right that sort of thing off. yes I go and tell a KFC from day one them, them start benefit from matches at Jackson. Yes, man. Because the people them go and buy a KFC come. Every clean up after the games, we have a a a KFC every. So when we approach them for certain things, I, I would think they would be receptive and so and so. Yeah. Sandals don't give us sandals who had sponsored our business house for over twenty four years. Yeah. And then now most of them them investment was at Don't Give right or so. Yeah. So Don't Give is now open. So we're going back to Sanders to try to resurrect the business house because the, the business house, I can't tell you. Yeah, I, I, no, I, I'm, I'm going to, all right, go business house because I remember the days of business house. Oh, tell them. Sentan have the best, <laughs> you don't remember the days, man, when <laughs> um, Club Caribbean <laughs> killed the Reno, man, them, <laughs> remember around a pound? Yeah, man, I am and telling you. Jack Sally, so the best, and I mean, this was, you yeah, know, pay for come in, you know. You have to stars up and stars, you know. All the man, them, the Premier League man, them, the Donald, you with, who say, call them name? Hagler. Hagler Wilson, <laughs> in a center and a play, mix up with the center and ballers and the hotel workers. We need back the business house. Start but but can I house, say man. to you, that aspect of it is one, but mm -hmm. tens of thousands of you get jobs jobs yes. at the hotels, at the hotels. Ghana yes, has man. skill, yes, some of them man. are graduate to foreign um, yes, being so yeah, that's true. and then them come back and help out one and two with the yeah. jacks are. so that too, as far as me concerned the biggest football competition that has so been you want you want it to come back you want it to come back and with the with the with the, with the, with the plethora of new hotels being built and businesses are yeah i'm here telling you man yeah. and the other businesses so to play the business house mm. we matriculate some of the ballers who have no skill to them yeah. and by the time the business house finish guys start learning a skill whether it is at it at grounds or bartending or you name it but business also that big thing in it was that big, it was I, that big. I, I i didn't even know that it was it was on a pause yeah it well yeah man, thing, man. especially thing. after the co before the covid yeah so no you, you I think they're receptive again. Yeah, yes, man. man. And as you say, the business is in. Um, we have so many business in Jackson. Yeah, no, sure, when I'm sure, passing yeah. Jackson, it's like a place that I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you, you, every day you see the development being. The, the, the being development. Yeah, um, yeah. So, Beckford, you must be in the, the, the luckiest president in the world to see Mount Pleasant drop in Fenton. Tell can me about I, the can, Mount Pleasant project. Can I say to you, it has nothing to do with luck. Yeah. Right? So the good gentleman, Mr. Peter Gold, and mm -hmm. um, he came and we, I remember the first meeting with him. Yeah. And the first competition they played in, with, with the youth in, a, in a Mount Pleasant in yeah. the Division 1. And they finished, they finished about 7th overall in the Division 1. The next year now, my good friend, Mr. Craig Butler, mm -hmm. he came on board to sponsor our league. The only rider to that was that his Phoenix team would be put into the Major League. And so we don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. And that would have put our teams to 11. And I go and tell you, and it's not luck neither. About two weeks after we finalized with Mr. Um, Mr. Butler, yeah. here comes Mount Pleasant asking if they could get a spot in the major league. Mm -hmm. So that would have put it at 12. So we seal it off at 12. So Mount Pleasant came in with. with, 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 with um, Phoenix, yeah. and what, what, what we had expected of Phoenix is Mount Pleasant garnered that. So Mount Pleasant, a couple of years after being in the Major League, qualified for the Premier League. Yeah. And I must say to you, I would put it down to mismanagement, but Mount Pleasant should have won the Premier League two or three years ago. But it's better late than never. Better late than never because <laughs> you're a champion. We are year. champions now. The first the time first, in centre. First time in you know? centre. With all the big bad Brazils you usually play and everybody. This is the first team. Brazil, Chelsea in 74-75 came mm -hmm. third. Right. We were beaten by two Kingston teams, Cavaliers and Santos at the time. Okay. And then Brazil in 75-76 came third also. Oh, they were third place team. They were third place team. Two Kingston teams again, Boystone and Santos. Mm -hmm. And I must say to you, along with my colleague over there, that mm -hmm. is Luke Murray, I played on both teams. Which team you play on? The Chelsea third place and the Brazil third place. No, you place. have to be very careful. Remember, say, history <laughs> can't go back, you know. 
You play on the Chelsea team we and play on the Chelsea team 74, 75. Cause I was the secretary of Chelsea from 1971 and I was a member of the Chelsea team. And you went to Brazil? And then we went to Brazil the next year mm. and gone to third place also. <laughs> <laughs> big Premier League. Football. Big, big Premier League. Man. We never yeah. know that. Yeah. So, with the likes of Darren yeah. Jackson. Darren yeah. Jackson is who you call. Um, and you have Luke Moore, who's usually called Lukey. Yeah. Milo Hines, those days. Milo, I mean, yeah, I mean, grew up on here, Milo. Exactly, <laughs> so we played with Milo. Yeah. yeah. I don't talk about that. I don't talk about that because um, we're still on the Mount Pleasant. No, let us finish the Mount Pleasant project. Yeah, yeah, right. right? No. Mount Pleasant have come in, and I'm going to ask you, I don't want, I, you can either answer a question, you know, or you can duck it. Yes. They are saying that no, no, the sent and ball on the Palm Mount Pleasant team. It is in the streets. No, no presently, presently. And, and, presently, and they say mostly outside the sent and. Most of the team, 99% of the team is outside. Outside. Mm -hmm. So what they what them want to do, yeah. a professional unit. Yeah. But as I say, when you. All oh, them sort of mismanage, I'm just gear heads up. Mm -hmm. You have a transfer window in July. August, September. Yeah. And then you have a transfer window in January. Right. And what I, I, I saw happen was that you might move, you might change 11 players in a day, July transfer yeah. window. Oh, and when the January comes, you it change the again. next 11. So you don't have it a second. Team. It affected the team. Yeah, so with the advent of a Theodore Whitmore, yeah. and we can see now the results of it. So yeah. them doing some shopping yeah. and getting some ballers. Not necessarily for Premier League, but for Kankakaf Kanka level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I feel, I feel, I feel. So if they can dominate Kankakaf, it's a given that they will dominate the Premier League again. And I must tell you, mm -hmm. this is what they want to do, a dynasty. Mm -hmm. So five, six champions on the throne. That yeah. is what that is what they want. And then to dominate at the Kankakaf level. Kanka. Yeah. Uh, Saint Anne deserve it. Hey, they Saint deserve it. They no, deserve look it. here. Saint, remember, no, at one time you have the Volvo go, Volvo come back. Yes. Down. Remember, you have the Orion. Yeah, Orion went up. Orion but Orion when went Volvo up. went up and yeah. Orion went up and come back down, yeah. there was the mainstay Black Star. So we always have yeah, two black, teams. Yeah, yes, we yeah, always yes, had two teams Lincoln in the Premier League. William, the and when man I go down the wing name again, man, and all those, um, all those ballers. I remember. A specific match with Black Stars, Reno and Black Stars, three all right. out there. You remember that match? I was one of the assistants. <laughs> <laughs> Big match at Jack Star. Jack yeah, Star could have yeah, won. Yeah, yeah. Black Star versus Reno. It's true. When, whenever a team, you always have a two teams from Central in the Premier League. Yes. Even if one come down, Black Star always was steady. There, yes. Black Star so was in that period, you had Brazil at, uh, that went to, and then you had yes. Volvo, and Volvo, then you had Orion. Orion, yeah, man, Black Star. Tell me now about you have another team who gonna um Premier League now. You have Lima FC up there now. <laughs> Twelve years ago Lima was, was Benfica and oh, they qualified for Benfica? the Premier qualified for the Premier League. Okay. So Lima will come again. And I must tell you, yeah. no uncertain terms. The administrative part of it. On a personal note, we ensure that administratively, all of the dots. That mm -hmm. all of the T's grass. No. No, so with Lima, so we put them on the FIFA platform and yeah. ensure that everything is perfect. Good. And Good. then now, most of the matches, 99% of the matches Lima played since season at home mm -hmm. in the tier two, we had to help subsidize them because. Fenton FA subsidizing? Subsidize them okay. every single time. Them and Brownstone. Yeah. Simply because the persons were saving up every week mm -hmm. to be with Mount Pleasant. Oh. So when the tier two was playing, um, Premier League was playing also. Yeah, so if yeah, you yeah. saw the Mammoth crowd at Sabina Park for that final, yes. most of the people are saved up for the semi finals and the finals. So and they, they did. They leave this tier so two. the tier two now, yeah. we had to help subsidize. Oh. But I must tell you, when the Premier League finished and then Lima qualified for the, for the semi finals, St. Anne people full up. Prison Oval with the first leg of the, of the, the yeah. semi-final. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, yeah. Lymar went to Spanish Town mm -hmm. and beat Choo Juice. Choo yeah. Juice who tapped the preliminary. Yeah. So them finished first, Lymar finished fourth. Yeah. And we, we beat them 3-2 up there. Yeah. And then they came here for the second leg. And I'm going to tell you, 
that crowd surpassed a lot of the Premier League crowds that we had. The people came out for that They came out for that semi final, oh, man. Because at that you. time, the Premier League had finished. And everybody finished put every in. To killing you. Good. So yeah. all of the wagonists and all of the die hard that was Come. here. Right. Yes, they and, and Lima. Yes. yes. So that match, Lima lasted 2 1, so it was 4 all and aggregate. 3 2 up there. One, two down here. Mm -hmm. And I must tell you, the, 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 the player from Lima that scored on the day, the two one, was my son, Aymane. See? Aymane, yes. yeah, yeah. When Aymane was 16, he played for Jamaica under 17. Yeah, man. He usually played for Marcus. He usually played for Marcus. Big yeah, ball yeah, Marcus. I tell you, the man. So it was big ball of a sentence from the yeah. under 13, under 15 yeah. coming up. Is that Lyman? Yeah, man. So I think some, what he had a. Operation one at a time for an injury and one on his foot. So that's how I say. But he man dream now. Let me touch you. Let me say that. Because his name was out there. Yeah. I'm at Bedford. His name was out there and all that. What yeah. happened? Why, why he fell out? As I say, injury, what happened? Yeah, that, it, it, I, I think it was in the same tournament that Jamaica went to in Panama. Mm -hmm. He come back with an injury to one of his knee. So he did an operation. But I must tell you again, mm -hmm. sadly again, that um, four years ago, he did the transfers, he did the medicals, he did everything, paperwork. To go to Mount Pleasant, mm -hmm. and for some reason Mount Pleasant rejected him. Oh. Up to last year, when I spoke to the to, to the owner about him, and him saying tired of hearing the name, so so and so, and he still didn't bring him. What he did was went to Limehall and qualified a team for himself to the Premier, Premier League. League. <laughs> right, right. So Limehall, you have any team in the tier two that is coming up now? Yes, man. We have Brownstone. Brownstone qualified last year mm. for, from the, the tier two playoff to the tier two proper. And finished a creditable sixth. Mm -hmm. So when Limehall finished fourth, Brownstone finished sixth. Brownstone is straightening up as we speak. And I must tell you again, Brownstone now have a, a big Mount Pleasant influence in it. Oh. Right? And then we have Madras now, our major league winners from yeah. preparing to go to the tier two players yeah. to qualify for the tier two. So, so <laughs> so if you don't mind shop, you have four teams me, in the Premier League. If me don't shop, me have three, at least. At least three teams. Like so if Brownstone, uh, say, say, um, Madras qualify for the tier two, we'll yeah. have two teams again. Yeah. And if one of the two qualified, we're going to have three teams and I'm going to tell you something. That is a massive headache. <laughs> it's, a he it's a headache. You will welcome, you know. Yeah. But if you have three teams in the Premier League, mm -hmm. then you know we're going to have Wolipa Jocelyn, Jocelyn, Jocelyn. Jocelyn for the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. we want it up, yeah. we want it up. We you deserve it, it. <laughs> I keep saying that because at one time Fenton was looking out. Now everybody come Fenton. Yes, everybody want to come every, now. Every match and so on. Um, mm. Bedford, as we speak, we hear that Mount Pleasant may be moving from Jackson. You, you know anything about that? Well, as I just I spoke to you earlier, mm -hmm. Mount Pleasant, wants to develop here at Jackson yeah. to meet the CONCACAF standards. So you can put that to rest, Mount Pleasant will be at Jackson for both the Premier League and hopefully they, they, yeah, they can yeah. the yeah. Where they are developing up, 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 up at their property there mm -hmm. is mostly for the school and for maybe schoolboy football. Oh. But the big league is at Jackson. The big league is when yeah. and them, them will tell you, they will tell you that second to none, is Jackson. So most people know Jackson. Yeah, if the support for them Ghana at Jackson, they want to Ghana up there. That would maybe be a two, three year project. Mm -hmm. But as it stands now, as I say, they will develop Jackson for both the Premier League outing and for possibly Kankaka. Okay. Female football. I know you are, you you have some development with uh, Jody Jody Brown. Jody Brown a, a, a starting <laughs> person in Jamaica. Um the, the regular girls, the regular, regular girls, sorry, have just finished, um, have gone through the World Cup and so on. Jody Brown is a starter. Tell me the development of Jody Brown. What role did you play? Because her name was in Fenton before she reached up there. Not only Jody Brown, in had a Lacey Murray mm -hmm. from Priory. Right. And um, both of them were like sisters. They, 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 they started at the under 15 level for Jamaica, both of them. Mm -hmm. They started, they, they matriculated to the under 17 level. Even when they were still 15, they played for the under 17. And then both of them started in the last tw under 20 girls mm -hmm. when the first time we ever beat Canada when Lacey scored in that match and Jody was the leading goal scorer for the team. So, she especially was a special case, Jody. She, yeah. we, we do, on a personal note, the development of Jody Brown is 
for to one person part in particular and that is Danny Beck for himself. Yeah. We did everything as a matter of fact we came a, a second father to her and his parents would even up in a previous interview say all I had to do, do with a Danny Beck for that involvement. As a matter of fact, Jody was was at Lime Hall primary where she played with the boys. Yeah. And then she played with our boys team too. Before we had an under 15 girls team. Mm -hmm. Um when she passed her um G -sat, she was slated to go to Ochurius. Most of the other girls that, that did their G -sat, we transferred them to Ochi so that they would be in the same team because we had started at under 15 at that time. So they, they, they stayed with her at Ochi Race, so she didn't have to go to a, 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 G, a St. Diego or a Lennon because those schools wanted her. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. So she stayed right here, mm -hmm. played for Ochi. I remember the first match they played with um, a team from, from St. Catherine, school girls. Mm -hmm. That team before I'd, I'd given Ochi the year before, oh, seven love. Yeah. So when they came here, they said, well, then you could try to go eat. <laughs> yeah. So that's the time when Jody and Lacey started to play for Ochi, for Ochi High. Okay. And when the halftime break, it was the school nil, Ochi Rios five, Jody <laughs> Brown four. What? And it ended up that instead of them giving us eight, they got the eight. Wow. <laughs> you know, so yeah. that was the start of, of Philip we got. And, and uh, we were right through and through. When she reached 18, then you know she's an adult now, so most of the ties were cut. Yeah. We tried to get her to sign now so that, so that we would be our agent going forward, but she didn't, wasn't receptive for that. So, and it was at the time I think she went to St Florida State University, yeah, so she yeah. was there. So, we wish her all the well and thing and, 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 and for me it was a sort of disappointment seeing her performances in the in the World Cup just finished because I know she could do better. Yeah. But oh, yeah. at the end of the day she's a World Cup star twice over. Yes man, because her <laughs> name is there. As I said, a starting person for yes, yes. the, the Start the three games. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um schoolboy football. Fenton is doing well in the Premier League tier two and so on. But Fenton has never won the, the schoolboy football. What, what, you have anything to do with that? Well, I can tell you something. Mm -hmm. and I, want I remember the, Marco Sarri and what you hope there, man. And, and what can I say mm -hmm. to you? At yeah. the time when you're talking, and even now, mm -hmm. all of the schools in Jamaica, in, in Fenton, remain schools. Mm -hmm. A lot of the schools outside are really football clubs. <laughs> okay. So I just rest <laughs> my case there. You know? <laughs> the schools <laughs> first, and then... Everything else after. So but Saint Anne's school remains. Remain school. So oh, okay. them I hope there is a, a issue now with a Ochiris High School, for example. Mm. I must tell you, and your viewers we're looking for big things from, from Ochiris High Ochiris School High. this year. This year. So oh. as a matter of fact, they played in our division one competition too. You know, if it's hard to sharpen up for yeah. the for the thing. And they, they they looked impressive. They were the leading scorers. They got knocked out in a day quarter-final round, didn't make the semi-final, mm -hmm. but I say it was a sharp up for the, for the, so let us look out for Ochi this year. Yeah. I'm not sure about your cast where they are at, uh, I, I hear that Marcus might not come again this year, because they came last year into, into the schoolboy thing, but I'm not sure they're coming. Mount Pleasant has been trying for the last three years to get, um, mm, oh, to get, to get um, mm -hmm. schoolboy football status, but it, it has still been refused up to now, so let's hope them can get them th things together. Yeah. So that they can play schoolboy football. It will be a good for them and yeah. for centre. And Fern Court coming back. And right? Fern Court, yes, coming back. Fern for years they were out oh, in the wilderness. Years, yes, yeah. yes. Fern Court coming back. So as I said, they are schools. Let them arrange schools, not football clubs. <laughs> not football club. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to an area now where I want to ask you the JFF. You're going to a president? Are you an athlete? Um, let me. <laughs> How much time you run for president? If he, maybe you're going for president again? Well, yes, on a level. And yet you have some persons who are going for president would have me and they slay it. Right? Uh -huh. But can I say to you, this president, Jeff, yeah. is the worst, most <laughs> incompetent um, administration we have had that are running football. Well, Mr. Bedford, no, when you say these things, you know, that's why they say they are controversial. When you say these things, you know, you are the, one of the longest serving member of CONCACAF in terms of administration. The Caribbean, 19 years in Centon. Centon is on top of the world, you're doing well. 
You are saying that the JFF is the one of the worst, the present JFF in 2023? Yeah. Why? And if you follow them, the track record speaks for themselves. The track record. And I'm going to tell you, I know I'm going to detail But some mm. simple things now that this present JFF will take. It just fall by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And then it's time and again you have um, age groups, age group teens, for example, if you go out for one reason or the other. Um, they can go because visas weren't gotten in time or you know that sort of thing. Yeah. I remember our under 15 when most of the girls didn't get a visa. So they sent to us to get some of our girls who had visas, who were competent enough to go. Mm -hmm. And we, 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 about four girls, we seconded to the JFF for the under 15. And somewhere along the line, the girls were just ceremoniously dumped. They didn't get the opportunity. For, and it, 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 caused well, they, a riff, it caused a riff with some of the girls that two of them, one at the time, they said, boy, they know I'm bad with football. When them cool down still, I think they, 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 they said, but they were good enough. But I just said that for this, every issue in terms of whatever, you have, for example, a titles office. Mm -hmm. Two persons registered now for the JFF at the titles office. And one of them is the deceased Captain Burrell. So for the last six years for this administration, nothing was done to update the JFF at the, the titles office with the list of persons who are eligible to be administrators for J representing JFF. Good? I think we're doing, we're trying to do that now, mm -hmm. but it is far late. Good? And um, you know, most of the teams them now have to, over time, get to be. Um, at the titles office, a limited liability company or something. So we move into that. Now, if the if the parent body can't do that, how the other clubs are go, are, are, are go, are go, are go up? <laughs> but I just say that as a, as an example of, of, of the thing and whatever. We have we have teams leaving here and coming back, and I must even mention the doctors that go out. You have doctors where they do three four trips to them get a little stipend yet. They don't get PFM and JFF. They don't get the monies from JFF. I oh, know. And the doctors, one in particular, he might be a sin sent on to 19, 20 emails. And when you send the emails, nothing to do. And you still say he went to Mexico. Because mm -hmm. I went to Mexico as the other delegates. He didn't get any 